Hi, I'm Caitlin with Embroidery Library with another embroidery quick tip. Embroidery Library has a wide variety of applique and in-the-hoop designs to choose from. These types of designs are made from pre-cut fabric and then sewn directly into the design. Each of these designs come with die line files that are used to cut the fabric to the exact shape. I'll show you how to use and cut these die lines. I'm embroidering this cute applique owl design onto a tea towel. This design has one piece of applique fabric, so it will come with one die line file. When you download an applique design, you will see the embroidery file and the die line file. The die line file is marked with a DL. I'm printing this die line using Embird embroidery software. Wilcom TrueSizer is another software you can download to print die lines. When opening applique or in the hoop designs and die lines in embroidery software, it's important not to resize or scale the files. If the design or die line files are resized or scaled, the fabric pieces will not fit properly into the designs when sewn. After opening the die line file, print it at full size. Trim around the shape, leaving a bit of space around the die line. Some of our designs have more than one die line file. I like to label the shapes before trimming the printouts. This makes it easy to organize the fabric pieces as I cut them. Now the die line is ready to go. I like to spray the back side of the paper with a bit of temporary spray adhesive to help hold it in place while cutting. The instructions for the particular design you're using may also call for adding stabilizer to the back of the fabric. Once the layers are assembled, cut out the shape right along the line. Then remove the paper. Now that the fabric piece is ready, I will embroider the design. I have the towel hooped and ready to go. Load the embroidery file into the machine and embroider the design. Use the design's color change sheet as your guide. A placement die line will sew. This is the same shape as the fabric piece. After the die line is sewn, remove the hoop from the machine, but do not unhoop the fabric. Spray the backside of the fabric piece with adhesive and place it right inside the shape. Then, press the fabric piece firmly to the hooped fabric. Attach the hoop back onto the machine and continue embroidering the design. In this design, a zigzag tack down will sew, which binds the applique fabric to the towel. Then, the rest of the design will sew, including a satin stitch border that finishes the edges of the design. And the design is complete. If you do not have embroidery software, you can stitch the die line directly onto your fabric and then cut out the shape. Hoop the fabric with one piece of medium weight cutaway stabilizer that has been sprayed with adhesive. Load the die line file. That's the file with the DL. Attach the hoop to the machine and embroider the die line. When the die line has sewn, unhoop the fabric and cut out the shape along the sewn line. Then, load the embroidery file and embroider the design as you saw earlier. Tie lines are a useful tool for cutting fabric pieces for all kinds of designs. Thanks for watching today. For more quick tip videos, tutorials, machine embroidery designs, including all of our applique and in the hoop designs, visit our website, www.emblibrary.com.